Hello, I'm Paul Burton. During my 60 years, I've done many things, many exciting things, including being a policeman, a private detective, a Freemason, and now a priest. And I want to introduce these people that I've become to you during the next 10 minutes. Firstly, thank you for looking at my website. I hope you enjoyed it. We're still operational. We're still doing everything that it says on that website, as well as these other things. We're doing the lectures. We're doing the talking. We're traveling around the country, passing on information, management information, stimulating management, stimulating the troops in the yards, catching the villains and praying. Now, let me introduce these characters to you. They're going to come on one by one, and let's see if you like them and want to hear what they have to say. Thank you for watching. Hello, I'm Paul Burton. 30 years ago, I realized that to try and catch criminals in our country, you'd have to lose my tall helmet and my black coat and disguise myself like the thieves themselves. So, perhaps a little more scruffy than I am now, went out buying myself a lorry and went into builders' yards and timber yards throughout the United Kingdom stealing. The year of uh, 1970 realized 670 million pounds worth of property was being stolen by the thieves out of builders' and timber yards. My task was to try and catch them. My company soon grew to a turnover of three and a half million pounds per annum, catching criminals. And I've traveled the world. I am an investigator, a private investigator, and have stories of what happened to me in Russia, where I was shot at, or Nigeria, where I was poisoned. But of course, those are going to be told to you later on. So if you want to hear my lectures on how to stop theft and how to fight crime, from the other side of the coin, contact me. Thank you for listening. Hello, I'm Paul Burton. As you can see in a different costume, the famous Toastmasters costume that you see at the large functions in the city of London or all the very posh clubs or the society weddings. Well, some years ago, I decided that I would become a master of ceremonies and having attended the training, now on the wedding trail, traveling around the country, particularly in Spain, a lot of weddings in Spain that require my services, my Master of Ceremony services, but also available for Masonic functions and uh, any other functions that require just that special touch of class. Interesting, wonderful excitement to see the crowds responding to the Master of Ceremonies and taking the pressure from the happy couple during their wedding festivities. Thank you for watching. Hello, I'm Paul Burton. As you can see, I'm wearing a green colored costume this time. This is the mess jacket of the military and hospital order of St. Lazarus of Jerusalem. The Lazarene Knights were the ones that fought with great valor against Saladin. And my next lecture that I would deliver on board ship or whatever is the history of the Templars, the Knights Templars. In fact, I am myself a Knights Templar. What their secrets were and uh, where they developed to, I have my own very strong beliefs. And during this uh, presentation here, you will see uh, the Knights Templar uniform and also a very senior order of Freemasonry. What are the Freemasons about? They have a lot of suspicion, but you needn't be worried about what they're about. Needless to say, there are secrets, and those secrets we will discuss by way of a lecture. What happened to the Knights Templars? The Templars' Tale, it will be called, and it will develop to Rosalind Chapel. What actually is inside Rosalind Chapel is very particularly Templar and we will discuss this by way of a film and a video. If you've enjoyed this presentation, you will hear more. Thank you, bye-bye. Hello, I'm Paul Burton. 
while now wearing the uniform of a colonel in the Polish army. Don't ask. Don't ask. Suffice to say that the last time I wore this, I was playing Theseus in A Midsummer Night's Dream at Stratford-upon-Avon. For my main preoccupation and hobby, although I do get paid for it, is Shakespearean acting. And one of the good things about Shakespearean acting, apart from it giving you confidence and the ability to talk to people, is that the words that Shakespeare uses are absolutely fantastic. And he speaks on several levels. Now, when you heard you were going to be taught Shakespeare at school, you groaned and moaned, oh no, not Shakespeare, what's he talking about? But a lot of the things that Shakespeare talked about, your teacher couldn't tell you. And I'm going to tell you those in my lecture, which is entitled, The Actor's Tale. It will tell you about the words that Shakespeare used, which were frightfully scandalous. And, like the Carry On series that we watch and laugh at on the television, Shakespeare used the same words, but disguised them. There are 150 words in one play which would get the play thrown off if we knew what it meant. And that is A Midsummer Night's Dream. Shocking. But you will really enjoy these words, and you will now look at a baldric in another way. Yes, it's a rude word, but you never knew that. He had a cunning plan and he hid it. So let's enjoy Shakespeare together. Let's look at some of these words and the next time you go and see a Shakespeare, you'll know what they're really saying to you. Shocking. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye. Hello, I'm Paul Burton. Yes, I guess this is a bit of a shock, but I'm a poor priest in the Benedictine order. I'm the Reverend Father Paul Burton. And um, it suddenly struck me that certainly on board some of the ships that I've traveled on, that there is a need for a priest to take the services on Sundays. The last time I went on one of the boats, there were 700 people turned up to the religious service, the Christian religious service. My denomination is liberal Catholic. I have no allegiance to Rome, but I am a Catholic. My liturgy is Catholic. We are inclusive. All people are equal in God's eyes. So I have the ability to baptize, to bury, and to wed people who've been wed before as long as they are Christian. If I can be of any help to you on board your ships, then here I am. I'm ready to serve and travel for my God. Well, I hope you enjoyed looking at my video and seeing the various facets of my life. It's interesting and entertaining, and I hope you've really, really enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye. Inspiramos, gemem, desfrentes, e nada te parou.